Hello everyone and welcome to the another video from the series CSI Detail version 18. In this video we are going to look at this file menu in which we are having new detailing and open drawings option. The open drawing options can only be selected if you have already made a drawing in the CSI detail. At this point of time we haven't made any drawing so we'll click this new detailing option. If I click new then a tab will open. Okay, it is asking for eTabs model that is open.edb file. This will be the file that was analyzed and designed in the eTab and uh, which will be available to you when you have completed the designing in eTabs. Okay, so it is obvious that this software can only be used with the eTabs files. Okay, it can't be used with any other like Stud or Revit file. So we can click this open.edb file and you must have to locate that model file which you have uh, saved in eTabs. Okay, so I'll click open.edb file and I'll go to desktop. I have a file uh, that uh, my students were using. Okay, so I'll move to that file, eTabs main project and I was having a curd element file here. I'll open it. Okay, now what? the detail will do it will open the etab version 18 and it will automatically close also the software it will open the etabs version 18 and it it will automatically close it also by taking all the forces we just need to wait here okay so we'll wait until the model opens up in the etabs and we will have some bunch of options here and then we will move back to the csr detail okay Let's wait for this thing to open up. This is the project that I have used. Okay, it's a curve building, it's having curve numbers around it, it's having a shear wall in between. Okay, now see the ETAPS is closed and a pop up is there from the CSI detail. And what it says, it says it's have a two warning. First warning is spandrel summary results are not available and design strip results are not available. Spandrel was not there in my model, so it's totally okay that the results are not available. Design strip is for slab designing. I haven't designed my slab in that building. I have designed only beans column and that walls. Okay, so this is okay with this warnings. Okay, so I'll simply press okay. And now we can set that we can see we are having a bunch of option in this detailing menu. Okay, we are having a bunch of options here. That is beams, columns, and wall, and slabs and wall spandrels. Sorry. Wall slabs and wall spandrels are inactive. It is obvious that this will be inactive because I haven't uh, designed these slabs and the wall in my model. If I click on beams, then it will give all those beams that I have designed. Um, uh, my model was having 350 by 350 mm of beams, and it will tell all the data, it will show you all those data that is the area of steel at the top in mm square and all this. Okay, you can cross check if the, all the things are seen. Okay. The same goes with the column. If I click column, each and every column will be here with its location and its area of steel. Same goes with the wall pierce. I was having a shear walls, so it will have all the bar spacing and the end rebars and all of the things. Okay, you can check from here. The models database units are here. You can change it on the later purpose. I will tell you how to change units in up, uh, another video. Okay, for this moment, I'll keep it safe. In the components we are having, what kind of detailing we need? We need detailing for beam, column, walls, frames, all, or if you want only beam or column, you can uncheck it and see from here, okay? For this moment, I'll select all. Uh, detailing for what number of stories you need? For all the floors or you need for only the master floor? You know how you can add master story in ETAB. And these are um, option for selected floors. You can just select some of the floors I'll select. And then I can select some of the folds. Okay. For this moment of time, I'll click on courses. Now we have uh, we are having a bunch of options here in the preferences, and this is one of the most uh, important. You can say uh, if I select this select preferences, then it will say what kind of preferences you need. Means if I press OK at this moment of time, then the default built-in preferences will get selected, and the drawings will be made. I can also select use saved user preferences. If I saved any preferences, we can use that also. I can also select use standard preferences. In this, you can select the code from which you want the detailing. For this moment of time, 
uh, we are going to use Indian standard 456. See? Okay, I'll select IS 456 and then I'll press OK. Then we are having used quick detailing and this the detailings are done quick and the only uh, compulsory drawings are shown on the screen. Okay, for this moment I'll uncheck it. Then we are having concrete detailing preferences. I click concrete detailing preferences. You can change many things here. And you can also change these things after the drawing detailing has done. It is showing we are having section labels ABC. The concrete detailing of slab has always in section A at the start and C at the end and B in the middle. Same goes with the beam. You can uh, choose the scale of the plan that is going to be generated here. You can uh, increase the height of the text, the thickness, the symbol size and all from here. Okay. Same goes with the steel detailing. We are having concrete display preferences. If I click concrete display preferences, this will have a bunch of options. We will talk more about all these options in the upcoming video. For this point of time, just uh, check that the uh, all these options remain like this. Okay, you can go on to beam and you can see include number of bars. That means if a concrete frame is going to be displayed, it will be showing the number of bars. Okay, it will include the bar designation and all this. Okay. Same goes with the steel. We have the rebar rules here. If I click rebar rules, you can set a uh, rebar rules here that what minimum size of rebar you need. Okay. What the largest number of size you need when you're detailing. Minimum number of bars in the slab you need. Minimum number of bars in beam you need. Okay. For non seismic and seismic, what the things you can do. Here. Okay. So these are all the things which are going to be very quite important, but I am going to. Uh, tell you all about this thing in upcoming videos uh, after generating the details you can also change all this thing after the uh, generation of the drawings okay we are having default drawing option what kind of drawings you need always try to select all okay we need all these drawings then we have the grid system visibility what kind of grid you need we have the drawing sheet setup what kind of drawing you need a4 a1 a0 what kind of okay we are having drawing format what kind of color you need and all this thing for this moment of time, I will keep all the things same and I'll press OK. The motive of this video is to how to open a ETAB model and generate its drawing into this CSI detail. Now, detailing is in progress. A tab is a pop up window is there and the drawings are getting generated one by one. We'll wait till this process gets completed. Because the project is quite big, the stories are quite there, and the detailing is there, so it can take time. Okay, it depends totally on the project you are working on. Okay, so this is done. We are having a floor plan in front of us, and then we are on the left side, we are having a detailing options in which detailing explorer in which we are having a bunch of options we will look onto this object in the another video for this video uh, this is it uh, the motive of this video was to how to open the drawing now if i see in the file menu we are having now a bunch of options that i can close it i can save it i can save as it now this point of time i can save it if i click save it will save it in the csi detail.drg file uh, let's say save it on desktop i'll save it and this will be saved. Now I can go into file menu and now I can open that drawing. If I'll open that drawing, it will ask me that this drawing, which is open behind, can do you want to save it? I'll press no because I have already saved it. Now it will ask me to open that file. I'll go into desktop. Now I have this file called element.drg. If I open it, the, all the drawings will be uh, read. Okay. And this will be opened up in the minutes. Okay. So this is all about this, this file menu. You can also export these things and you can, this is uh, uh, locked at this moment, so we can't do this. So, I hope you understand all the things in video. Try to open your ETF file in the CSI detail software. If you got any problem, please do uh, share your views in the comment and please subscribe to my channel.